Hey everyone, it's ASMR by B, and today I want to do a relaxing magazine flip through with you guys. So as you can see here, I have a good housekeeping magazine, and I'm just going to do a little bit of tapping. And so I was going to try and get um, a cosmopolitan magazine because I thought that would probably be, I like pop culture is, you know, like fun and I thought that that would probably be the way to go. But for some reason, I have not been able to find um, Cosmo like anywhere. I can't find Cosmo and I can't find Seventeen and those are two magazines that I used to read a lot when I was a kid and I don't know when I was a kid I didn't read Cosmo when I was a kid um, I don't know where those magazines have gotten to I don't know if they stopped doing printed versions of them but anyway I got this copy of Good Housekeeping, and you might think, wow, B, that's really boring. Why are we looking through Good Housekeeping? <laughs> and I'll tell you why. If you've been listening to my Whisper Rambles, you will know that I recently purchased a home, my first home, and I thought that this magazine would be a really great, like, way to learn some household tricks. <laughs> I thought it would be a really great way to, um, to learn some helpful things. So, as you can see, it is good housekeeping. Cleaning shortcuts. C L E A N I N G. And the reason I'm doing this magazine flip through is because I had I put up a community post and I asked what you guys were wanting in terms of videos and. A people said a magazine flip through and I thought that I had a couple magazines here that I could flip through but it turns out I don't so I went out today I got my nails done um they're not done done I just I got my the shellac taken off because they were looking rough it's been like a month and a half since I got them done and, um, and, um, they're very short compared to what I usually have going on, and I can actually, like, move, move my hands around. It's really crazy. I haven't had them this short in a long time. Anyways, so I just got a sport manicure, which is basically where they take the, they take your shellac off, and then they just shape and do a manicure with no nail polish. So anyways, I went and I got my nails done and then I went to the local drugstore and I picked this guy up. So I thought that we could do a flip through of this magazine together. So it says this is a cleaning shortcuts um, and hopefully it's funny because I feel like having a boring topic is almost good because then you guys can fall asleep to it. So, you're welcome. <laughs> so, 250 household tricks to save you time and money. Easy room by room guide for a sparkling home. Okay, so I apologize if you can hear 
some laundry going in the background. Hopefully it's not too bad. I um, tried to miss like the worst part of the washing cycle. It's someone upstairs doing laundry and um, yeah. <laughs> so I think I went through the cover. So we've gone through the cover. It's quite a cute cover. It's got some soap. It's got a bottle of maybe like Windex or something. And we've got lemons and limes. <laughs> so we'll just open it up. And this, I have not looked through this magazine before. This is the first time that I'll be opening it up and looking through. So it'll be a surprise for me. I love magazines, but they've gotten so expensive. I don't know. Like this was like $17 after tax. I'm gonna try and do a nice page flipping. I lied. That wasn't nice. That was not nice at all. There's some, like, products they're advertising over here. The one problem that I have with some magazines, and unfortunately this does look like a culprit, is the big focus on, like, diet content. I think it's just, I'm not a big fan. Um, like, low calorie diet blah blah blah, like, get that out of here. <laughs> um, I love this. Dishes for two. That's really fun. Love the fireplace. Really want to look at getting an electric fireplace at my, at the house that we've bought. So here's the contents of this. We have essentials on page two, common problems, that's an exciting one, I'm excited about that. We've got kitchen, bathroom, bedroom, laundry room, garage and outdoor, and then stain rescue. So we're going to start off with chapter one, essentials. Set up your tidying kit for success with must-have tools, all natural hacks, genius products, and time-saving solutions. We even give you a chart to help plan every task. I really love this bookshelf setup that they have. I have some baskets just like these in in my living room, we use them to hold blankets. That's my tip for you guys, is that if you have bulky blankets, then maybe you just, like, don't really know where to store, what have you. Baskets are, like, a super good idea. I love having baskets in our, in our living room. So let's move on and see what they suggest. Must have tools. Stock your cleaning caddy with the essentials to save time and avoid headaches. Okay, now there's definitely a lawnmower going in the back, but I think we're just gonna have to power through. So sorry. <laughs> so the first one is a microfiber cloth. Love that. I definitely have microfiber cloths, but. I use them to clean my glasses. <laughs> I bought a pack of these microfiber cloths and they are perfect for cleaning your glasses. They make them so 
so clean. I'm gonna clean my glasses with them right now. They work magic. They're magic. I used to just use, I used to just use like, um, small glasses cloths that I had accumulated from the eye doctor and stuff, but these are so much better. So much better. <laughs> so microfiber cloths to dust and stuff. A vacuum. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> Broom and dustpan, mop and bucket. I have a... Swiffer wet jet rather than a mop and bucket. That's just what works best for me. I don't think it's a recommended, like, every time clean. I think that it's recommended to use, like, a real mop. <laughs> but I don't have time for that. No, I do, but I just don't want to. Paper towel, a squeegee. Yes. We are going to have a glass shower in our master bathroom and a squeegee 100%. Maybe for, um, I wonder if you can use a squeegee on mirrors. Chlorine bleach and a caddy. I think I will get a caddy. I don't have one now. I think a cleaning caddy would be amazing to keep under the sink and just have everything in one place. Um, as for the bleach, I'm um, more of like a natural cleaners type of person. I really don't like working with harsh chemicals. So, I much prefer to not use bleach, personally. Ooh, I love this. Speed cleaning tasks. Speed cleaning. Eight tasks you can tackle in five minutes. Are we talking about five minutes for each? Or can we do all eight in five minutes? It's looking it's looking like five five minutes for each. Loading the dishwasher with everything except dishware. Plastic toys, soap dishes hairbrushes. Yeah, that's really interesting. Cause I've, I know my mom used to do that when we were younger. I feel like we would put things in the dishwasher. Um, I'm not, I've never done that, but it's a good reminder that that is an option for sure. Number two, is walk around with a lint roller. I love that. Because I have a couch in my office. You guys might have seen it in the background of some of my videos, but um, it collects hair like no other. And the only way to get rid of it is to lint roll it. Because it's like a fabric couch. So that's a great suggestion. Banish dust from the baseboard. Give your gadgets some attention. Oh, yeah. Cleaning, like, your phone and stuff. I'm never sure how you're supposed to clean electronics. I always get nervous. I always get nervous that I'm going... I sounded really Canadian there. <laughs> nervous. I always get nervous that I'm going to damage them. So I think I want to get some, like, phone disinfectant wipes, specifically so that I can sanitize my phone. Oh, wipe down your purse. That's a great, like, that's the reason that I got this magazine. It's just reminding me of all the things that I could be doing. Because sometimes 
sometimes, you know, I don't know, sometimes I have some free time and I'm like, oh, what should I do? And these are great suggestions. We definitely don't have a garbage disposal, so we won't be worrying about that. We also don't have ceiling fans. I could have been tracing these numbers, I just realized. Yeah, we definitely don't have ceiling fans. We have this fun, like, overhead light. So that'll be something to clean for sure. Um, and then the last suggestion, number eight, is to toss that old pile of catalogs. We don't have too much of a problem with hoarding, like, stuff like that. We don't really have magazine subscriptions or anything, so, um, you know. This girl reminds me of Jessica Day from New Girl. If, you, if you've seen New Girl, let me know if she reminds you of Jessica Day. There's a little expert advice tip here, and it says clean by the clock. When you're overwhelmed by a room so messy you don't know where to start, imagine the floor plan as a clock face. Pick a corner and consider it to be 12 and focus on decluttering only that area before moving up to 1 and 2. That's interesting, I like that. Pro cleaner habits you should totally steal. Number one, think of everything as a grid so you won't miss or clean an area twice. Number two, work from the bottom to the top. Do your floor, oh no, the opposite. Work from the top to the bottom. Do your floor last, that way you're not shaking dust and dirt onto a surface you've already cleaned. Very good point. Number three is corral cords. They take up or they accumulate a lot of dust. Use hooks and not bins is number four. It's way easier to hang something up and to find the right bin and hooks keep things visible. Once something goes into a bin, it's out of sight out of mind. That's a good point. I personally have a problem with with bins. Um, I'm pretty sure I have a touch of ADHD and if I don't see things it really is out of sight, out of mind. Like, it's very hard for me to remember things. Um, so like a thing could go in a bin and like it'll just stay there forever. <laughs> Five, have house only shoes. This is the most American thing ever. <laughs> if you're not familiar with Canadians, we don't wear shoes in the house. I've never worn shoes in the house. Most people don't. I hardly wore shoes outside when I was a kid. I lived on like a farm, so went barefoot. <laughs> Anyways, six, use cooking downtime. Don't waste time watching that pot boil as food cooks rinse countertops, prep tools, and put stuff away. It's a fantastic suggestion. Number seven, treat stains right away. Grab the pre-wash stain remover as soon as you see a spot. Clean a little every day. I think that is a, like a fantastic tip. It's so easy to let like the mess pile up and get overwhelmed by it, but if you just do like five minutes a day, it's so much more manageable. Number nine, deal with clothing as soon as you take it off. Put it in the bin, fold it, so, and so on and so forth. 
Number 10. Finish with the bathroom. Start your chores in the bedroom and move to high germ zones like kitchen and bathroom. Number 11. Vacuum first, then mop. And number 12. Listen to podcasts. I would love to know which of these tips you think is the most helpful, or which one you already implement. Most of the time, I listen to um, music or YouTube videos while I clean. Um, it makes it more fun for sure. also got a 16 minutes to a clean house. Very helpful. I love this. So many of these um, tips are so great, but they're all easier said than done. Like, yeah, just put your clothes in the bin when you take them off, but again, as someone who I'm pretty sure has undiagnosed ADHD, it's not that simple. On clean up calendar, follow this guide to stay on top of the job without overdoing it. Daily, dispose of trash and recyclables. Hand wash and dry dishes or place them in the dishwasher. Wipe table countertops and rain. I am going to be completely Arrange top. Okay, they mean the stove. I was gonna say, I thought they meant range hood, and I was gonna be like, I haven't wiped our range hood ever. So, I know that's probably really bad. <laughs> Wash coffee maker thoroughly after each use. Does that not seem like a little bit over the top? That's crazy to me. <laughs> Sweep or vacuum floor. Vacuum. White fixtures in the bathroom, crown on countertops, straighten towels. <laughs> straighten towels. That's the least of my worries. Squeegee, pick up, straighten living spaces, make beds. Like, this is a pretty realistic list. Some of it's not so realistic. Like, we do not need a sweeper vacuum every day. If you've got kids, maybe it's a little bit different, but like, we don't need that. <laughs> um. Is there a drip pan? I don't think we have a drip pan. I don't even know what that is. Again, I've probably cleaned the knobs on the range like twice ever. Um, we just don't cook a lot of like greasy stuff so it doesn't get really bad. Yeah, I really like this list though. I will be... Oh, common problem. Chapter 2. Ooh, fast fixes for your entry. I think this magazine was literally written for me um, because I'm really obsessed with, in our new place, we've got, we've got a nice space for like a nice entryway and I'm excited to really really like make it our own so like we were gonna purchase something where you can put your shoes inside like it's taller than this and the front opens the drawers open up like this they fold outwards and then you tuck your shoes in because I really hate, don't like having shoes like out everywhere so that's what I'm gonna do for stuff Um, yeah. How to keep floors clean longer. Nice. Ways to spiff up wood floors. We don't have wood floors. We definitely have, like, fake wood. <laughs> vinyl. It's probably vinyl.
mistakes you're making when you're dusting. Bold of you to assume I dust. <laughs> I think I might just skip to. Oh, look. I made it. I think I'm just gonna skip to the kitchen bit. This video is getting a little bit long anyway, so I'm not gonna go through this whole thing, but I'm just giving you guys a little sneak peek. Tips and tricks to keep your appliances looking and performing as good as new. I love that. I love a clean kitchen. I actually, while I was waiting for the noise to die down to film, I actually cleaned the island. We have a really big island in this kitchen. So number one, 30 minutes speed cleaning, fast fixes for a sparkling, sparkling kitchen. Clear the counter, stash mails, papers, rarely used small appliances. Yes, that's like my number one thing, is just like getting everything off the counter. Um, we have a really nice pantry in our new house, and all of our small appliances are going to go in there the only small appliance, maybe, is gonna be the Keurig, but I don't even know about that, because I mostly drink refrigerated iced coffee anyways. Purge the fridge. Spot clean the stove. <laughs> Load the dishwasher. Grab the mop. Also, this tip here about self-cleaning oven cycle. I've heard that actually self-cleaning ovens can be very dangerous. So I would take great care if you're deciding to use your self-cleaning oven cycle. I've heard a lot of not so great things. Um, I've heard that it's quite the fire hazard, so just be careful. These are some really nice pictures. This is a really, really beautiful picture of someone's kitchen. The best thing that I did for our stainless appliances was get stainless steel wipes. I really love them. You can like wipe the stainless steel and it's really great. It makes it shine. And it's um really, really great. Mm, this is gonna be good. The dishwasher cleaning. Yeah, I think. I think I'm just gonna end this video here. I might do a little bit of magazine noises flipping for you. For those of you that were requesting the magazine flip through, I hope you enjoyed. And I hope everybody else enjoyed as well. I had a lot of fun. This was a really relaxing video to make. So thank you for your suggestions and keep them coming in the comments. I always welcome suggestions. So if there's anything within reason that you guys would like to see, that you guys would like to see. I would love to hear your comments and suggestions. Bye!
that is it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you as always in my next video. Bye guys.